Centennial Hills is a neighborhood in Las Vegas located on the northwest side of the valley. I wanna share with you all seven reasons why you should consider moving here when you relocate to Las Vegas. And make sure you stay with me to the end of this video because after showing you around Centennial Hills, I'll be taking you to one of my favorite Greek restaurants. One of the best places to live in Las Vegas if you need a lot of space is Centennial Hills. This growing neighborhood is for people who are looking for more room or newly constructed single family homes. And in some cases, you can even find property big enough to house horses. Since Centennial Hills is still being developed, you'll start to notice that there's a lot of land still available in this area. Northwest Las Vegas has a huge footprint in the Las Vegas Valley. In fact, Northwest Las Vegas occupies about a third of the land in all of the city. It wasn't until January 17, 2001 where Centennial Hills got its name in a contest. When you think about it, it's actually hard to believe that Centennial Hills has been around since the early 2000s. When you look at Centennial Hills, you look at an area that some people might even consider underdeveloped, but the reality is Centennial Hill has been around for a while now. There's just so much that has changed here in the last 20 years. Centennial Hills has developed itself into one of Las Vegas' premier neighborhoods and there's still so much room for growth. Now let's talk about the first reason why you should move to Centennial Hills. It goes without saying, this is where you wanna move if you want a place with new infrastructure. Centennial Hills Hospital opened its doors back in 2008 as the first tobacco-free campus in all of Nevada. The hospital's footprint is 354,000 square feet and they also have two medical office buildings. When you live in Centennial Hills, you're gonna be living in an area with new roads, new shopping stores, as well as new grocery stores. Every place that you would plan to visit in Centennial Hills is going to be essentially new. The next reason why you should move to Centennial Hills is because transportation around here is fairly simple. All means of transportation is centered around two major freeways, the 95 and the 215. And since we're on the subject of transportation, it's important to know that the 215 was built in 2003. So not only is everything in Centennial Hills as a whole new, but also a major freeway making it easy to get around. Also, if you're in the military, Centennial Hills is only 20 minutes away from Nellis Air Force Base. Now let's move on to the number three reason why you should move to Centennial Hills, which is recreation. When you live in Centennial Hills, you're only about 25 miles away from Mount Charleston, as well as 13 miles away from Red Rock. And speaking of recreation, I'm currently walking around Centennial Hills Park. This 120 acre regional park has everything from dog parks, splash pads, volleyball courts, soccer fields, baseball fields, you name it, this park has it. There's also a grass amphitheater with seating for 3,000 people. A fun fact about this area is it used to be called Deer Springs Park and it was built on an inverted riverbed. You can find this park right next to the Centennial Hills Library, which makes it a great place to come after your kids finish their homework. Another great park to visit if you live in Centennial Hills is Floyd Land Park. And I know this is technically in Tule Springs, but this park is so close to Centennial Hills, you have to make a visit. This 2,000 square foot park sits on the Tule Springs, which is a series of small lakes. There's a total of four lakes that you can even go fishing at if you have the proper licensing. Floydland Park is an old ranch that used to have crops as well as livestock before they turned it into a park. And if you're lucky, you can catch some peacocks roaming around throughout the day. I wouldn't suggest petting them, but they're definitely beautiful animals to see in person. And if you happen to visit, it's $6 per car. Before we talk about the next reason why you should move to Centennial Hills, let's take a drive down to a new construction community. I know one of your biggest questions about living in Centennial Hills is how much does it cost? Let's talk about the cost of living in Centennial Hills. When it comes to home ownership here, the market is somewhat competitive. Here's some numbers to consider here in Centennial Hills. The median sales price on a home here is $399,000, which is 7.2% less than what it was last year. The median price per square foot is $222, which is 5.1% less since last year. On average, homes sell here in 74 days. This past February, 465 homes sold in Centennial Hills, and homes can be priced from as low as $200,000 all the way up to $7 million. Now let's get into another reason why you should move to Centennial Hills. I wanna to talk to you about HOAs, and we are in a new build community, so this is very important to understand. And for those of you who don't know what HOA stands for, it means Homeowners Association. This is basically a group of people who make and enforce the rules for all the homeowners in the community. In my personal opinion, I think their rules are annoying because you have to get approval for anything that you do to your home. Let's compare HOA costs for a community in Centennial Hills versus somewhere else in Summerlin. In Centennial Hills, the average cost for a HOA is $99 with the lowest being $40 and the highest being $160. Now if you look at HOA costs in Summerlin, the median price point is going to be $300 with the lowest being $50 and the highest being over $1,000. This is definitely a huge difference if 
affordability is important to you. Now that I've been able to show you all the different amenities that come with living in Centennial Hills, I wanna show you what the home designs look like so you can get an idea of what this area looks like. Right now, I'm at a new construction community by KB Homes called Montelado. This community in Centennial Hills is located by major freeways, shopping, dining, recreation, as well as top rated schools. It's a really great location to meet several of your needs. You can find a total of four floor plans here and I'm gonna take you inside each one. Before I get into the rest of this video, let me know in the comments what you think about living in Centennial Hills so far and if you can see yourself living here. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Chris Brown and I'm a realtor with Simply Vegas. And just like you, I wanted to move to a new city that not only made sense for my business, but also for my lifestyle. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and click the bell so you don't miss any new videos and you always know what's going on here in Las Vegas.
Now that we've been able to see all the different model homes here at KB at Montalado, I wanna go through some numbers so you guys can know what to expect to spend when you come buy a home here. There's a total of 11 different homes that you can buy here at this community, but only four of them you can physically see in person. These homes range anywhere from $421,000 all the way up to $520,000. And the HOA here is only $54. And now that I've been able to share with you all everything there is to know about Centennial Hills, I wanna talk about the most important thing that you all have been waiting for, the food. If you follow me on Instagram, Instagram and TikTok, you can always see me going to different restaurants all over the city showcasing what places that you can eat in different parts of Las Vegas. One of the first places that I would recommend you visiting when you live in Centennial Hills is the Oyster Bar at Santa Fe Station. This is a local secret because a lot of people will spend over two hours at the Palace Station Oyster Bar when they don't know that you can get seated immediately at Santa Fe Station. Another cool place to visit is the Gilcrease Orchard where you can pick your own fruit and buy fresh produce. I love going here during the fall where you can go through their pumpkin patch and pick your own pumpkins as well as get their signature apple cider donuts. It's a really great place to bring your family and your kids during the holiday season. Now that we're done talking about homes as well as food, let's take a ride to my favorite restaurant here in Centennial Hills. So now I'm here at Market Grill Cafe where I'm gonna share with you all what my favorite thing to order is here. This restaurant is family owned and has been around since 2006. And if you remember earlier, I told you that Centennial Hills has only been around since 2001. So this is a very new restaurant. And my food has arrived. Thank you. You're very welcome. Anything else I can get for you guys? Nope, this is perfect. Okay. And if you live in the Summerlin area, they also have a second location over there as well. So as you can see, my go-to meal here at Market Grill Cafe is the Greek salad, as well as the chicken gyro. I also get pepperoncinis on the side because I like a little spice. Mm. 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 This is the one, y'all. Y'all see that? All that goodness in there. All that goodness in there. Man, I could have this like every day. Love Greek food. As you can see, I literally ate every single thing that was on my plate. And again, this is one of my favorite places to come eat here in Centennial Hills. So if you're ever in the area, Market Grill Cafe is a great option to come have a great meal. So today I was able to share with you all how great of a city Centennial Hills is to live based on affordability as well as lifestyle. I think if you're interested in a new up and coming city that you can grow into, this is a great option for you. On top of that, I think you're gonna really enjoy being able to live far enough from the strip where you have a little bit of peace and quiet, but you're also not too far away where you can't make it there in about 20 minutes. For more videos about Las Vegas lifestyle and real estate, click on one of the other videos on the screen. I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you on the next one.